quarter to six. Some sad news for you this evening. The journalist who was very much the voice of BBC Radio Homicide's news bulletins in the 1970s and 1980s, Charles Levitt, has died. His distinctive voice and unparalleled reputation as a broadcaster and news producer helped the station gain its reputation as one of the BBC's most successful news operations. Charles Levitt was at the centre of the station's response to news stories like the Icelandic Cod Wars, the Flixburg disaster and the loss of the trawler Gull from Hull. A former news editor at the Hull Daily Mail, he was an inspiration and mentor to generations of young journalists whom he helped train and encourage. Now here he is delivering a news bulletin in 1991, the day the government announced it was considering the abolition of county councils such as Humberside. Radio Humberside News Time. It's five o'clock. This is Charles Levitt. The headlines, the government's new council tax provokes a political storm. A Humberside Tory says it will leave most of his constituents better off. A business leader slams the government for creating an awful recession. The local government shake-up opens the way for a new battle for Humberside. Hull's prison governor denies using body belts as a punishment for inmates. A development company and North Bank protesters clash over traffic levels round a planned holiday village. The government has opened the way for a new battle for existence by Humberside. Announcing a new review of local government this afternoon, the Environment Secretary, Michael Heseltine, gave hope to abolitionists by saying that local wishes will be taken into account, and to pro-Humbersiders by saying that efficiency will be another consideration. He told MPs that there is no overall view for or against keeping county councils, and Parliament will make the final decision. This is how Mr Heseltine set out the factors on which the future of Humberside and other counties will be decided. The present structures of local government do not universally win favour with local people who have their own ideas about what sort of structure would better reflect local loyalties and communities. We therefore propose to establish a body to draw up recommendations for improving the structure of local government, area by area, taking account of local views and the costs and benefits of the change. The government does not intend that either county or district councils should be abolished wholesale. Michael Hasseltine ending that clip of former BBC Radio Homicide journalist Charles Levitt. Now the former Soapbox Phone-In presenter Peter Adamson worked with Charles for many years. He paid this tribute today. He was the one they should all have copied and most tried to. He was very, very good. Uh, proper background, came into this uh, way of, of, of news dissemination and he was so professional and his standards were of the highest and he worked extremely hard and people used to underestimate him at first sight because he, he wasn't very tall. He wore a cravat which some thought was an affectation and carted around a small personal teapot which they also thought was an affectation. He's just like tea and cravats but there was no nothing teapotty or cravatty about him when it came to this job. He was absolutely mustard, you know, and a lot of other journalists were justifiably in awe of him, so we'll miss him. Peter Adamson paying tribute to Charles Levitt, who's died at the age of 81.